Hi everybody, so this now is day number 14 in Jesus' name. Welcome everybody. Welcome, hallelujah. Name. Thank you hallelujah. Lord. Thank you Lord. This week is the week leading up to Easter and we're looking at the, I've been looking through the Bible, the different things that Jesus did leading up to the time that he was arrested and round about the Monday before he was arrested he was uh, on his way to the Garden of Gethsemane. They were walking through and uh, he was on his way up to Jerusalem to the temple. And uh, let me get the right page. And it says here that uh, he'd been through what they call the triumphal entry into Jerusalem when he rode on a donkey, a colt, and he rode into Jerusalem and they put uh, uh, palm leaves in front of the donkey and flowers and they sang Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, etc, etc. And then in Mark chapter 11 verse 11, it tells us there, it says, And Jesus went into Jerusalem and into the temple. So when he had looked around at all things, as the hour was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve disciples. And it says in verse 12, Now the, day, the next day, when they had come out from Bethany, he was hungry. hungry. And seeing from afar a fig tree having leaves. Now I want you to remember with fig trees, normally when they're full of leaves, they also have figs growing on them. They also have fruit growing That's on right. them. That's right. yeah. And seeing from afar off a tree having leaves, he went to see if perhaps he could find something on it. Mm -hmm. And when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for, for it was not the season for figs. That's right. Now when he saw That's the tree right. and he saw the leaves, he probably thought it was an early bloomer, if you like. And in response, Jesus said to the fig tree, Let no one eat fruit from you ever again. And his disciples heard it. Then he went up to the temple and he did what the, the, we call the temple cleansing. He chased the money lenders away, that's all right, those that were conducting right. business. Yes. And he went in to conduct proper, proper ministry. That's right. Maybe we'll look at that another time. So we go down to verse 20. They finish in the temple. They're on their way back and they pass the fig tree again. Mm -hmm. And it says in verse 20, Now in the morning as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. They saw the fruit tree dried up from, from the roots. Now I want to just spend a, a minute or two just explaining something to you. This is an illustration. It's often used with regard to Israel itself. But we can also see ourselves sometimes in this. And the truth of the matter is, you cannot fool God with appearances. None of us can. That's right. We can fool oh, sure. each other oh, and maybe even fool ourselves. That's right. But we can never ever fool God. The fig tree, normally when it had leaves, beautiful leaves, looking like it was full, would produce fruit. The fig is the fruit of the fig tree, obviously. That's right. And appearances can fool people sometimes. And Jesus, he even went up to look to see if it had figs. And when he got up to it, he found that there was no figs on it, that the tree was giving a false appearance, was in a way fooling those that looked at it. And Jesus cursed it. And why did he curse it? Because he expected it to have fruit. That's right. That's it looked, right. it gave the appearance that it yeah. had fruit. He expected That's it to right. give fruit. Yes. And it's telling us that... We cannot fool God we and we mustn't put on an appearance. We must just be ourselves. You must just be yourself. Right. God wants you to be yourself so Amen. He can work with you Amen. in Jesus' right. name. Amen. And Amen. we just need to be ready. That's right. We need to be ready when yes. the Lord comes to ask us to do anything. That's right. We need to be ready in season but also out of season. That's right. We need to be always producing fruit, not just shiny leaves looking like we're producing fruit, Absolutely. we need to be actually producing fruit. Jesus cursed it. And when they came back, they saw that the fig tree was cursed from the roots. 
And that tells me something else. That also tells me that it's not the appearance that counts, but it's the heart. heart that's the heart, heart that counts. Heart that's he cursed it and it withered up from the root, from the heart of its growth, from the heart that's of its right. being. And we need to make sure that the root of us, which is our heart, is ready in season and out of season. Amen. My Amen. brothers and sisters, my friends, are you ready in season and, and out of season? season. Right. Is your heart right with Jesus? Every day I have to check my heart and make sure my heart is right, right. before the Lord. Right. Confess your sins to Him. Seek forgiveness. Walk in repentance. Right. But don't be a person that's walking all the time with round shoulders and your head down that's as it. if God's going to give you a good hiding with a shambok. He loves you too much to Absolutely. leave you the way you are. And what he, he is, he's a very merciful yes. God, as he has yes. said. And he loves you. He loves you so much. He doesn't want you to walk with your own shoulders. He wants you to have your heart full of Jesus. He wants you to give your heart fully to him. Not just a part of your heart, not just a compartment of your heart, but your whole heart. You must pass it over to him and let him work with it. Let him get the rubbish out of your heart. That's it. If there's any still in there, let him deal with it. Let him deal with the scars in your heart. Let him smooth them over and heal them. And restore, and restore them yes. and strengthen yes. your heart yes. so that yes. you're ready in Amen. season and Amen. out of season Amen. in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus. And we're going to have our um, communion again for day 14. Hey, yes, day 14. <laughs> when, you, when you're on this lockdown and you're in your home looking out the window, praying and reading your Bible, the time flies by and you can't Absolutely. remember what day it is. That's but we're it. getting through it. That's the good news. That's we're it. getting yeah, through it. So it. let's hold up the bread. Thank let's Lord. thank, thank Jesus, Jesus for his body yes, that was Father. broken for us. Hallelujah. Jesus, you said when we take this and when we drink of the cup, we must do it in yes. remembrance of you. And that's exactly what we're doing today. We love you, Jesus. Yes, we love you. We thank you, you for what you've done for us, you, for what thank you endured and what you thank went through. You. Thank in you. Jesus' thank name. You, we thank you thank by your thank broken you, body. We have been healed and restored yes. in yes. Jesus' name. Let's eat together. And then we hold up the cup. The cup that represents his shed blood. In Jesus' name. His life is in his blood. And his shed blood has been shed for you and for me and for all who would call on the name of the Lord. All who would trust in Jesus. Right. All who would give him his heart. Right. Your, all who would give, them, give him their heart in Jesus' name. So give him your heart today. In the name of Jesus, he wants to heal you. He Thank wants you, to Lord. make your heart full of his joy. You, full of his presence. In Thank Jesus' name, let's drink together. Amen and amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's a glorious thing to do. Have communion with the Lord. God is present. His word says, where two or more are gathered in his name, there he is yeah, with us. Right. In amen. Jesus' name. He's amen. here present with us. Amen. He's here present amen. with you. In Jesus' name. You better believe it. By faith. By faith. He wants to reach out and touch you today. In Jesus' mighty name. So until tomorrow, That's right. God bless you. It's been good being with God you. God bless and you. We'll we see love you, you on day 15. In Jesus', in name. Jesus name. And just name. remember, if you're feeling depressed, get the word, uh, the scripture out. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Just cut that depression out of your life and off your life and confess His word. Amen. He loves Amen. you and He knows where yes. you are at and He'll pull you out of that That's black it. hole in Amen. the name of Amen. Jesus. Yes. Reach out to Him today. Amen. Just don't stay where you are. Hallelujah. Reach out. Be lifted up yes. out of that in gloomy, Jesus gloomy name. feeling in Jesus' Just name. Just lift your hands and worship Him. Yes. Hallelujah. I worship yes. you. Oh, mighty God, oh, yes, Lord. there is none like you. I worship you, O oh, Prince of Peace. That is all I long to do. I give you joy, for you are my righteousness. I worship you. 
Almighty God, there is none like you. Just keep on worshiping Him. Just keep on doing it. His Lord, presence will manifest. You'll feel His presence. You'll know thank His presence. You, Lord. In thank Jesus' you, name. Thank you, Jesus. Bye-bye. Hallelujah, Lord. God bless you all.